One by one, we watched as the final 11 candidates filed into the Corville Rec Center last week. They were there to interview with these people, the four-person interview team responsible for picking two candidates to fill two management positions in Cincinnati's Rec Commission. A list Fox 19 investigates obtained through sources shows some of the 11 accused of cheating on the promotional exam were a part of these interviews. How did you find out about the cheating allegations? Uh, I, I, I got a call from City HR and they said that we did receive a few emails about the uh, al allegations, so they said that we are going to do a re re report. Chris Bigham heads the city's rec commission. City rules require him to use the city's HR department and civil service commission to vet candidates to fill positions that open inside his department. Bigham did that nearly a year ago. He waited ever since for the city to get him a list of candidates to promote. Now Bigham has a cloud of cheating allegations hanging over his department as they try to promote two managers. You've got to rely on this testing system. You've got to rely that the rules were followed and this candidate pool that you end up with are the absolute best mm -hmm. out of this department to give back to the city. Yeah. Do you believe when you get the final candidates that this is going to be something you can rely on given the allegations that were made. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll think about it. But Bingham says the way HR handled the investigation and the final ruling isn't a deal breaker for the final list of candidates. Overall, I think that it's all going to work out for us. Although the city could not prove exactly who cheated, the HR report recommended throwing the test results out and starting over. HR and the Civil Service Commission decided against that. Instead, gave all the test takers, including the accused cheaters, full credit. Why disregard the investigator's recommendation to toss it out, retest it, and just let's reset the deck here and make sure that the final candidate list is not a tainted one? Well, the list is not tainted as the written portion and the oral portion provide us with what we need in order to make the assessment of the candidates. Nancy Oland is second in charge in the city's HR department. She did not make the decision to ignore her own investigator's recommendation. That, according to Oland, came from HR director Georgetta Kelly. We asked Kelly for an interview for this report. She never agreed to do it. Instead, the city offered Oland for questioning. Our sources inside City Hall told Fox 19 the real reason for the city allowing accused cheaters to stay in the run was that the city was in a hurry to fill the positions. So it was basically an issue of there was just not time to, to issue a retest based on what the recommendations were from this investigator? Well, it's not as simple as that there wasn't time. It's that it really wasn't necessary. But an email from the HR investigator we obtained through our investigation tells a different story. In it, the investigator explains to employees the city was not retesting candidates. The reason? not enough time. We read that email to HR's Nancy Oland. This position has been open since September 30th of 2013 and the Rec Commission has an urgent need to fill this position. So was it simply a, an issue of we just didn't have time to do this retest to follow our own recommendations from the man who investigated these complaints? The, the score wasn't thrown out. It was just transformed instead of getting a 60 percent, 70 percent. It was a pass-fail. Olin went on to explain the part of the test from where the cheating allegations came really wasn't that important. That was another reason why the city gave everyone credit, whether they passed it or not. That decision and the city's handling of the investigation has some inside City Hall worried. Is a larger crime here the way the city handled this investigation? Absolutely, yes. That they didn't take it seriously and that they, you know, just tried to um, brush it off and move on and move forward with hiring. And many of those folks are within, um, you know, the top 11, and those 11 people are going to be getting interviewed for the two open positions. The city believes something happened that should not have happened in that exam. At the end of this process, if someone who was accused of cheating is somehow promoted into this position, have the taxpayers and the city of Cincinnati been done a disservice? Absolutely not only done a disservice, but now you're hiring and promoting somebody that um, doesn't have any ethical basis. And, you know, if they're open to cheating on a promotional exam, what else are they open to?